Many P1 series upgrade videos on YouTube concentrate on complex designs like touchscreens. This video is going to concentrate on simpler printable upgrades for those of us starting out or people that just want to see those simpler upgrades. First is a little print that's basically a second nozzle cleaner ingeniously designed to fit in the front of Bamboo Lab's build plate and it cleans the nozzle whilst the printer is doing its purge line. There are some drawbacks to this one though. It'll only fit Bamboo build plates. It's best printed in TPU. I, I tried printing it in PLA but it was too rigid to fit. It probably won't work with the X1 Carbon because that printer has like a different purge line sequence. Uh, it won't be any good when you want to use the reverse side of the build plate because the hole will be in the wrong place uh, and it can melt when the purge line is slow but despite all of this it does actually work quite well for getting the little extra bits off from the purge line you can remove it if you want to do slow prints it's tiny it doesn't take much time to print and it doesn't use that much filament if you've got some spare tpu lying around so go and have a look at it and, and print it if you if you fancy it i'll link to all the different models and everything in the description hopefully so go and check it out if you want next is the best one on the list shifty it's so simple and solves a real problem of lining up your build plate when you put it back on the printer easily print this in pla although you could give petg a go if you want to just remove some small supports click it into the existing guide in the back left it makes aligning your build plate easy and repeatable so it's definitely worth printing side note there's a funny comment on a similar model to shifty in maker world the designer of shifty appears to have gotten a little bit upset when someone designed a very similar model anyway i digress there is another build plate guide by 3d tech base that might be worth having a look at but i just haven't printed this one the next two upgrades i'm sure you will have heard of before unless you're a complete beginner but i've included them because they are so important one is the side spool holder necessary because for some reason bamboo lab thought it was a good idea to have the spool holder on the back i chose this side spool holder from codebender because it's compatible with the ams lights rotary spool holder which i thought was cool but i've not used this part yet i've just kept the default one there are so many side spool holders out there so have a browse and pick one that you like the second one is a riser the initial use of risers was to hold the ams on top of the printer but still retain the ability to remove the top glass panel for airflow now through some great designs risers offer more than this and include accessory storage spool holder in integration, LED strip mounting, and way, way more. Sometimes they can be a bit more complicated to print and assemble, but it's worth it. I used a honeycomb riser by Willy 3 ds Babo Duo collection. I actually hardwired my LED strip into the printer so I can switch on and off using Bamboo Studio or Bamboo Handy. I could do a longer video of the whole assembly of this if uh, people are interested. Those are all the easy printable upgrades I've made so far. Nothing crazy there. So thanks for watching this short video.